Development guys today, uh, we're at Land of Motorcycles, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, we've got an NBC 110 motor here uh, that we've pulled out of a rack. Um, it's going to go in Rianne's um, rolling frame, which is not a rack, so that'll be a complete bike. But before we do that, obviously makes makes sense to uh, know where we're going with the motor. Now the motor is a little bit rattly, so we're going to do a, um, a cam chain kit. So we've got a brand new cam chain here, we've got a cylinder roller. I'm just going to go in here uh, and we've got the tensioner idle wheel which is going to go in here. So um, we're going to do that and it'll be nice and quiet and it yeah, will time lapse it so you obviously don't have to see us doing little bits at a time. Go team. Okay so here are the tools we'll be using, two different rattle guns. Okay here is the cam chain that we will be replacing. And here are the rubbers that we will be replacing also. You can buy all these parts online. I'll post the link in the description below for you guys. This tool here is also a flywheel puller. You'll probably need one of those to remove the flywheel. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is where your starter motor is. Goes in there. There's a cog we just took off here. This is your one-way kick, so it only spins one way. And yeah, so that's the, the cog here that joins up here for your electric start. See if you can see the piston, and you can see the piston in there. So it's on top of the spark plug. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the piston through the hole. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so this is just obviously we're doing sort of entry level stuff that someone yeah. that might not have all the tools and everything. It's always, you know, old school's the best way to know stuff. Alright, so now we're going to need to pull this off, and it's oh my god, it just came straight off. So, normally I would need the puller, yeah, and that would screw into there, and then the yeah. the shaft would actually kiss the the, uh, the, um, the crank there. Anyway, so that's time now, so I can take all of this out and what we're going to replace, we're going to place that in there with this. You that can see one. the difference. It's going to go there. Oh wow, there's like, it's, yeah. there's, it's smooth, there's no yeah. cog things on it at all anymore. Yeah, we're going to replace this cam chain okay. as well. So yeah, that top one's When we reset it. it, it'll be sitting up there like that. Okay. So you can see how slappy it is, right? So,
that will wash it there too. That's pretty much it, that'll all drop out now. Right away with the roller, doesn't matter. Ooh, you get it out. Just pull the old bits off. You can give it a visual inspection as well once you've got everything off. Um, the good thing about the MBC 110s, uh, well good and bad, the oil pump drive, um, sprocket, they've actually, actually hardened it quite a lot more than the CT110. Obviously there is a little bit of wear there, but it's nothing. And if you're ever not sure what to compare it to, just look at the one off the crank. As you see the crank's got nice clean, solid cuts on it. Mm. And then if you look at the, the oil pump there, a little bit more smoother, you know. Uh, but this is still serviceable. Serviceable meaning that we can use it, it's fine. Uh, if you do need to replace this part, you've got to, you're going to have to split the, um, the cases. Because it's, it's actually, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's screw off. It's, it's not like the CT110s where you pull the whole thing off with the shower. Yeah. Just tape it on the other side through the case so it can only... Can only, size, that's a big job. Yeah, can, yeah, it is. You're exactly right. You can only go out the other side, so you need to be able to hold it on the other side and then undo this. And you can only do this if you get the cases off. We well, might even be able to do it with the cylinder, I'm not sure, but I just know that I had to. Yeah, when I was doing a full build, I, that, was, that was the way I had to do it, and I picked the best one that I had. But anyway, that's fine, that's serviceable, we're happy there, uh, so that's all good. Yeah, that's good. Doesn't look like there's been too much heat in here, which is good. Obviously this bike has been ridden by me when it came into the store, so I'm pretty happy with it as well. And you just check these tips as well. The top, I've got these tips and stop, you know, just to make sure that they're not getting too warm. Mm -hmm. um, that one's just a tiny, tiny little bit worn. So we might, we might even replace that when we, you know, we're here anyway. We might even do that, you know, just so it's all Mickey Mouse. Alright, so now we'll load the new stuff on. So that's the new one, as you can see the grooves and the teeth on it. And that's the old one. It's just smooth. It's literally completely worn away. smaller and the top bit here as you can see this groove is gone as well see that's why you got to do your regular services to make sure everything's working all right you know because rubbers as they do these days they don't last so yeah. hey thank you for watching please like and share